Wednesday, the 7th of December. Our heading is Listen to Him. Now, let us look at the three voices from a different angle. Firstly, with the first voice, our Lord was in an attitude of obedience. Why needed He to be baptized? It is a sinner's ordinance. Jesus is no sinner and needs no washing, no death, no burial. But He takes on the sinner's place and therefore comes to be buried in the Jordan for thus all righteousness is fulfilled. It was to Christ an act of obedience. He took upon himself the form of a servant, and being found in fashion as a man, he became obedient to every ordinance of God. And then he yielded himself to baptism. And then came the voice, this is my beloved son. And then there's a second different angle is when our master, our master was in a devout retirement. He had gone up to the mountain to pray, where suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared. Then the father's voice came for the second time. This is my beloved son. For us too, like our master, we may expect to receive divine testimonies when we are on the mountain of communion alone, when our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. But the neglect of retirement will probably rob us of such assurances. Because to live evermore spending our strength in public, wasting ourselves in the turmoil of this world, and to neglect the soul-refreshing ordinance of private devotion is to deprive the inner man of the riches of spiritual delight. And the third angle of testimony came to our Lord as He was busy ministering. He was preaching in the temple when the Father responded to His prayer. In that same hour, the Father gave an audible answer to His prayer. So, if you, my brethren, are called to any form of service, I ask you, under no pretext, neglect it. The neglect of anything for which you have the talent and to which you have the call may deprive you of their inner witness. Keep His commandments. So shall you abide in His love and know it. Forget not to be obedient, forget not to be prayerful in your retirement, but forget not that you are meant to shine as a light in the world. I pray, Father, please quicken my spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen.